Hello you guys, it's the Brand Delicious. I'm coming to you with a new video. Um, today I will be making a fish sandwich um, with homemade tartar sauce. So stay tuned. Okay, we're starting off with the tartar sauce. Um, a half a cup of mayo. Um, you can choose any mayo that you prefer. You can add or subtract as much mayo as you want. It's okay. It's up to you. Um, next, we're adding the capers. Um, try not to use the off-brand capers because the off-brand capers or the cheaper capers does not taste that great to me. So, get the, the higher brand capers. And I put one and a half teaspoon of capers. Um, next I put in the dill. I love dill, y'all. I can get enough of dill. I should have added more, I believe. Um, but any brand of dill is fine. Um, I added one and a half tablespoon of dried dill. It's really, really good. I eat it in most fish. I put dill on my fish a lot. So, that's that. Um, next we're going with the relish and this is a dill relish like I said I love dill so we'll be adding two and a half tablespoons of dill relish um, it was more like a heaping uh, teaspoon but it added up to two and a half tablespoons Okay, now we're adding in the lemon juice. One tablespoon of lemon juice. You can add more or less or whatever you prefer. Um, your choice. Um, I should have added a little more, I think. But that's all right. A um, little salt. Um, a little pepper. And one teaspoon of sugar to cut all that sourness out. <laughs> and we're going to stir. Mix, 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 mix. At this point, I forgot that I didn't add onions. So, um, I decided to add um, a half a teaspoon of onion powder. Yep, did pretty good. Stir, stir, stir. Now we're going to refrigerate this until the um, we finish with the fish. Now we what we have here is the mahi mahi. Um, I got my flour. I have my egg and milk, two eggs, and I have my breadcrumbs. Now the seasoning is the soya. Um, Saison Goya, that's the seasoning. 
and I'm using sunflower oil. So we're going to dip. I put them gloves on because this can get a little messy. So now we're going to dip the mahi mahi in the flour. Coat it re really well. The mahi mahi looks so perfect. <laughs> Now we dip it in the egg and milk mixture. Now the seasoned breadcrumbs. And the breadcrumbs is seasoned with the um the Goya seasoning. So I love Goya. I rarely use salt and pepper because it's it's too much salt and pepper in everything and I don't want to overdo it. So the 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 Goya seasoning was just enough for me. Make sure that's nice, nice and coated. Now this is the part where I don't like uh, doing extra crispy anything because of this process. I don't like this process at all. Dipping and all that stuff is just, ooh, gets on my nerves. I don't like this part, but I did it because it, when it was really good, it turned out really great. So I guess it was worth it. Clean up my mess. Okay, it's ready for the oil. And you're going to repeat the process of the flour, egg and milk mixture, and the breadcrumbs. Look at that Goya seasoning, y'all. It's so good. I put it on almost everything. I had to add more breadcrumbs because it was getting a little low <laughs> and it wasn't going to be enough for the last piece. So I added more breadcrumbs to the to the, the oven. Here's the finished product. Um, it was so good, y'all. Um, I had to cut off the ends because it was too long. But anyway, we have the Hawaiian buns and mild cheddar. Um, thank you guys for watching. Share, like, and subscribe to my channel. Thank you guys.